Now we just hop directly over to the RevM interface. See, I've got my two, two hypervisors, right? The generic Rev environment, uh, storage, one storage domain, NFS, the default overt management network. So once we've configured the underlying infrastructure, in order for us to use them and provision virtual machines uh, with OVN networks, we need to define an external provider. So we'll go under external providers, add. We'll call this one OVN test. Uh, it is going to be an external network provider as opposed to like OpenStack networking or whatever. Uh, the default URL right now is just going to be localhost 9696 because I've installed the OVN controller directly on Rev Manager. I don't need to change that. If you did install an external OVN controller, obviously that URL would have to change. Uh, this 9696 should look familiar to anyone who's familiar with OpenStack Neutron because the OVN bits are actually using a subset of the Neutron API. Um, so we didn't have to you know, add any additional API calls or anything like that. We can uncheck the read-only box because Rev will be able to define networks on the OVN controller itself. Um, so we've defined the external provider. We see that there are currently no networks defined. Right? If I go to import, there's no networks or whatever. So I'll go back to system and under networks, I'm gonna create one. Now, the only support we do for OVN right now is for virtual machine networks, right? It can't be a display network, a migration network, anything like that. So we'll call this OVN Net 1. I'm going to say create it on the external provider. It auto-populated uh, the specific provider. And I hit OK. And the cool thing is, if I go back to my OVN controller now, and I look at OVN Northbound Control Show, we see that a virtual switch was created called OVN Net 1. All right, so it's populating this stuff in real time. Oh. So what I'm going to do is create two new VMs. Both of these just have the default NIC, which lives on the overt management network. Right, That's just default behavior. Uh, what I'm going to do is these, are, these templates are created using the RHEL 7.4 uh, QCAL images, so they support cloud init. Right, so I'm just going to tell Rev to run these and set the initial uh, root password. There goes that one. There's test one. Open up the console to test two. All right. So I've got test two and test one. Go ahead and log in. We see that it has uh, ETH0 right now, which is my management network, right? So I should be able to ping this guy from uh, my laptop. So it's 223, it looks like. All right, so he's responsive, like an SSH to him, all that kind of stuff. But that's not the cool part that we're going to take a look at. Get logged into this guy as well. Same thing here. So let's say I want to create a, a private network that only these two VMs live on and kind of isolate the traffic and, you know, the IP space within that network might overlap with some IP space on my uh, production network or something like that. What we can do is add another virtual NIC that lives on that OVM net that we created, right? It's a totally isolated uh, network. Same thing for test two. And the beauty of uh, hot add resources now shows us that uh, we have an ETH1 on test two and ETH1 on test one. So, uh, so the network namespace uh, on ETH0 or the subnet is uh, 0, 0, .0 and it's a slash 24, so I'm going to use 1 dot, you know, 1 on this guy, all right? 
So if I find this guy 1.1, .1, test 2 will get 1.2. And to make sure when I do my ping, you guys are seeing this, right? So with the routing table, when I go out, when I try to hit the 1.0 network, that traffic is going to go out ETH1, which is on that, you know, test OVN uh, network. So remember, right now I'm on test two. So if I ping 192.168.1.1, those pings are now going over that uh, tunnel between the two hypervisors, uh, totally encapsulated and off my production network. And same thing for test one. Dot two. And also to show that there's no funny business going on, let me unplug test two. So I should no longer be able to ping test two from test one. There we go. And that's the demo. <laughs>